Friday nights in Northern Michigan mean only one thing for football players, bringing home the win. But what about the bumps along the way? The focus of a study released in 2011 by Virginia Tech looks at how football helmets protect the athlete's head. Using data from helmet-mounted sensors on football players, researchers created lab tests to simulate the impact players experience on the field. I think Virginia Tech's study is, is new in the way that it is it's so descriptive and detailed about how they, you know, get to the fact of that, but it's still very theoretical in terms of, you know, it's, you know, it's basically done by biomechanical engineers. Anyone out there that has taken the time to go ahead and say, hey, we're going to look at this, I think it's good for general knowledge. Sometimes you don't like the results of what they find out, but I think it also brings awareness to everyone that, you know, we want to protect our athletes at all costs. But the cost of the most up-to-date technology in football helmets can sometimes be too much for some school districts. First, you got to look at your need. What do you need and how much money you have to spend because they are pricey. Jeremy Wilkinson has been with Kalkaska Public Schools for six years, where he's a head football coach. If you can get a same quality helmet or a similar quality helmet for $150 cheaper, obviously, you're probably going to go to the $150 cheaper helmet. Um, because it is similar to those higher priced helmets. The Virginia Tech football helmet rating system goes by stars, with five stars being the best available. So where do Northern Michigan schools rate? The school districts I spoke with provide helmets ranging from two stars to five stars. In the Upper Peninsula, St. Ignis uses four star helmets, or very good, according to Virginia Tech. In the Lower Peninsula, helmets range from two stars to five stars, Ludington uses seven different types of football helmets, ranging from the best available to two stars, which Virginia Tech considers adequate. Kalkaska uses these helmets, rated at three and four stars, which are good and very good on the scale. They don't pay too much attention about, or as far as the studies and the whole star rating and stuff. Um, you, I get enough material in football magazines and through coaches clinics talking about the different uh, helmets and what one's better than, than, uh, than the other one. Virginia Tech researchers plan to use new testing methods in the future. Dr. Shepard says he would like to see the study applied clinically. There are almost none uh, in terms of clinical applications and that's, that's why it's, it's, a, it's getting a lot of, I think, press and interest because it is a new way to look at it and it's going to open up the doors to really developing uh, better strategies to evaluate concussions and helmets and how they may or may not protect you from them. Some districts are tackling student safety with the highest rated helmets. Districts such as Traverse City Area Public Schools use Rydell Revolution Speed Helmets, rated at five stars. I believe that we work really hard to always provide the safest environment for our students. And the funding issue is, is just as big for Traverse as it is for any small district. <clears throat> you know, we, we've had continuous budget cuts to athletics. And I feel that's a credit to our coaches and our parents that they recognize that this is a priority. Brendan Kinney, 7 and 4 News.